What can I do for you? I would like to send help to Bruma, but I cannot risk weakening Anvil's defenses with that oblivion gate open outside the city. You too. Greetings, and welcome back to The Adventures of Fallon Frisky, episode number 22, also known as the continuation of Allies for Bruma. Well met. As you saw in the opening sequence, I had just closed the gate to Anvale, so now the Countess should be more than willing to provide aid to Bruma. Let's go ask her grace and see if she changed her mind any. Hi. I love how the guards are just okay with you coming and going through the castles. Hail, good citizen. Hey, Lex! Speak, citizen. How you doing? What the Grey Fox? Remember that? He's that thief that the Imperial Watch are always going on about. He likes to steal from rich folk. Wonderful fellow, Lex. Live the Empire. It's like he forgot the whole affair. <laughs> Poor guy. Guard Captain Lex. And she's not here. Well, now. Okay, I know, sh I know she'll be here at 10 o'clock. Oh, excuse me, your grace. You sure gave those damn Daedra what for? It makes us all feel better to have someone like you around. Uh, that, that's nice and kindly of you, but uh, what about aid for Bruma? I've heard that you've closed the Oblivion Gate outside Anvil. Yes. I honor you for your bravery and service to my city. With Anvil safe for the moment, I will send some of my best soldiers to bolster the Bruma garrison. Well, thank you. Be seeing you. Three more to go. Oh, hey! It's the Grey Fox! It's my pleasure. Please, continue. Oh, can't ask him about being Grey Fox. Good day. Oh, well. So, that would leave Leowind, Shaden Hall, and Brevail. I think our next city we're going to is going to be... Uh, oh, elsewhere. <laughs> next city will be... Eh... Uh, because Leo went so far, let's go to Leo win next. Oh boy, another count or countess, whatever the ruler would be. Get the brush off. Hey, <laughs> is her corpse still here? Yeah, she's still here. Dark Brotherhood corpse is still sitting here. <laughs> that was a while ago. Please be available. Please be available. Don't don't be difficult. Come on. Ah, crap. Well. Eleven hours. Good morning. Good morning. Sir. Marius Caro, by grace of the Nine, Count Leowin. You are a stranger to me, but well met. Perhaps you would like to do a service for County Leowin. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Oh, aid for Broma. Leowin is beset by enemies. The Empire does nothing to help us. Even before this crisis, I did not have enough men to patrol my borders. Now, Daedra are pouring out of an Oblivion Gate on our very doorstep. No, I don't have any men to spare. Broma will have to look to its own defense. But... 
All right, I'll go deal with your Daedra portal. Just I mean, you realize you're on the border with elsewhere, right? The home of all the, uh, Khajiit. You have it easy on comparison. Bruma is on the border with Skyrim. And there are some funny things in Skyrim. I don't have time for you. That's fine, the guards don't have time for me, and I barely have time for Oblivion Bortles. Alright, let's see. Oh, wow, that's blatant. Go figure. Well, after this, there'll be two more gates left. And I would have completed this accursed uh, task. Why don't you just stand there and let him do that? You fool! Something to report? Oh my goodness, what, what the heck happened here? <laughs> You... Oh, bother someone. You, you don't see the Oblivion Gate? <laughs> okay. You have problems. Big ones. I hate to say this, but... Welcome to hell. De a dead horse. They got a horse in here? Out of the way. How the crap did that get in here? Nice, this one's gonna be kinda weird. Well, as we learned previously, we can actually make it a little bit of work. Okay, if only I can hop that, it'd be amazing. Hey, it's, it's an excuse to use up all the potions after all. I mean, I do stockpile a good amount of them. I mean, we know it's the middle tower. If I can just hop over there, it's a good distance, though. Yeah, that's not gonna make it. Alright. Have to figure out something else. Oh boy, traps. Scamp dungeon door. I don't want to go through any tunnels, but I guess I have to. Hey, coward, come here! Thank you. Yay, maze. Oblivion Cave. More mazes. Just a cheery little cave. Maybe some curtains and some flowers, and it might be, you know, pretty good. And I could always just move in. Of course, though, you might not like the neighbors. Other than that, it's almost prime real estate. Okay, don't be alarmed, but I've now been stuck in this cave. Lost. Sooner or later, I'll find the exit. A door? Alright, I found the exit to that cave. Good. Now to figure out how to get closer to the tower. Yeah, I'm on the other side now. So we'll try to scale this way. Let's see. Come on. Come on, if Skyrim teaches you anything, so you can get higher by jumping. Guess not. Hello, dinosaur. That's not good. Sword I just ran out of enchantments. I think I have that. Alright. 
Refill. Start using a bow, it might keep things less likely to be wasted. Robin Hood! I feel like I can get my arrows back. Come on, where's your door? There's a lizard on the other side. I think I could actually probably get through there if the game would allow me to jump off certain surfaces. But I'm gonna keep trying. I think I'll eventually make it. Cool. Made it on top. Goodbye. So much for that plan of having to open the side gates. Persistence sometimes works. Oh, and of course, welcome to the gates of hell and damnation itself. It gets tiring some to say that. Alright, just find the uh, doors to go upstairs and get to the top of the tower and pull out yet another sigil stone. Yay! Although, the last time I did a shortcut like this, the game punished me for it. Uh-oh. Trapped. Oh, two doors. I'm thinking this door. Two more doors. Fountain. Magic fountain by the ants. Yep, magic fountain. Don't need it now, because it's basically just archery game for a bit. Oh, great, still alive. Three arrows in, it's still alive. Four, four arrows. One for those, though, huh? Tell you, those are some really tough dinosaurs. Four arrows and they're still going. Little danger creature here. One arrow and dead as a doornail. Ha! Dark Brotherhood knife and you're dead. And just because it used to, it gets a reaction. One little danger heart later, and you can actually restore a little bit of your health. A little bit. It's not the most helpful midnight snack, but hey, gets you something. Or like turning into the villain out of the Temple of Doom. Although I don't think he ate hearts. I get it. Oh shit. Hey! I lived! Ha <laughs> ha! You failed! I'll be back up there to kill ya! This is where I wish I had the dragon shouts from Skyrim to throw that asshole off. Get even with them. There you are. Hey, fellas, I'm about to steal your sigil stone.
Really, your best bet is to send a couple of dinosaurs? This is usually where your heavy armored guys are that just screw the game up. Odds are you're a summoner. That scamp isn't real. Who would have thought? It's mine! Better luck next time. You have two more t uh, towers to try this in. Two more. Sure! You know what? This is about to become very justified. You're not really a guard! You're a freaking clown! You would have certainly done something useful besides stand there while I get murdered! Well, let's see if they want me to pay a fine. Hey, sir! Yep. Stop right there, criminal scum! Nobody breaks the law on my watch. I'm confiscating your stolen goods. Now pay your fine, or it's off to jail. Off to jail. Technically, you weren't watching, but I'll just pay. That's too bad. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Arrest. That okay. asshole could have done Here's something. Procedure. We go to the castle first. I'm already at the castle. Just take the gold. And good grief, when I do prevail, I'll go talk to the Night Mother again. How hard would that be? I'll get some money back. Or I'll just see what your Count wants and take time out from aiding Bruma to figure out what he wants. He might have some quest. Oh look, more waiting. You. I'm sure you have many- Yes, yes, yes. Aid for Bruma. Well, with the Oblivion Gate near Leowin closed, I suppose the immediate threat is lessened. I will do as you ask. Let no one say Leowin did not do its part to uphold the Empire. Your only real threat you have to worry about is lazy guards. So, um... Might want to keep note of that, but since I'm here... What do you want for service of Leowind? I need your help. An orc named Mazoga here claims to be a knight. Okay. But will not reveal her business. Find out why she is here and report to me, and you will earn a reward suitable for those who serve Leowind. It's better be at least a thousand gold to make up for my murder, but all right. I think I saw her standing in the main hall, though, last time I came through. Yes, there she is. It's you. Hi. Excuse me. Are you the Count? No. The Count sent me. The Count? Then I can talk to you. I'm Mazoga. Mazoga the Orc. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do. Please, go on. A little bit of a bribe. Excellent. I accept. Mazoga. Yes, I'm an Orc. I was born under a rock and I have no parents. So I don't need a family name. I guess you don't know how to talk to a knight. So I'll teach you. Say, yes, Sir Mazoga. Sure. All right, then. Just don't Just forget. go with it. Uh, knight. I'm a free knight. I don't have a lord. You got a problem with that? Free blade. All right, nothing wrong with that. All right, then. There's an Argonian named Weebamna in town. Go get him for me. Weebamna? Weebamna? What? Do you know where Weebamna is? I hear he's a hunter, knows all about the woods around here. No, I don't. Then go find him. Tell him I want to see him right now. I'll meet him here. Uh, I get the feeling something shady's about to happen. But then, I'm Dark Brotherhood, and we're all about shady things happening, so... Maybe he's a wanted criminal? But then why would a free blade come looking for a criminal? Bounty hunter, perhaps? Yes, maybe. Good to see. I'm Weebamna. Weebamna. What do you want? Ever heard of uh, Mazoga? I see. So an orc named Mazoga wants to see me, and she expects me to come to her. I don't know her. I'd be smart to ignore her. You would be. But I never learned anything by being smart, and you seem to be a right skipper. So I guess I'll have to go see what this is about. Thank you. You want to speak to me? Me? Yes. I'm like at a fisherman's rock. Where's that? 
Fisherman's Rock is north of Leowin, about six hours' walk on a point of land on the eastern shore of the Nibbin. Take me there, now. I'm in a hurry. Why? That's my business. And if you won't tell me why, I won't take you anywhere. Then to hell with you! Good luck with Mazoga. Thank you. Farewell. Weebumna won't take me to Fisherman's Rock. Fisherman's Rock? Weebumna won't take me to Fisherman's Rock. You know where it is? Uh, sure. Take me there, now. Why? This guy, Mogan's Windshifter, he camps at Fisherman's Rock. So you take me there, and I talk to him, and then we see what happens. Eh, pretty push York, but... You we'll hear me? I talk to him first. No smashing in his teeth or chopping off his head. Understand? I don't even know who he is! <laughs> Talking, then smashing and chopping? Could be. You know how it is. But not until I'm finished talking. Good grief, take a contract out! Okay. The Argonian says it's north of Leowin, about six hours' walk, on the east bank of the Nibbin. No problem. Follow. Get moving. What are we waiting for? Although my secret is, fast travel if possible. Oh, there you go. Just go south of Fort Redmond. Done. <laughs> I'm not walking six hours. I'm not even walking six minutes. If you find a monster, deal with it, will you? Probably a mud crab, anyway. Might as well follow along, Shadowmere. Oh, yeah. There you go. I could have rode Shadowmere the whole way here and have her drag behind. Okay. We're at Fisherman's Rock. Now, I don't know why you wanted to be here, but... You did get me out of having to go to another Oblivion portal for the episode, so I'll be nice to you. Aisha Mines. Jabasha's an adventurer, just like you. Or until I took an arrow in the knee. I'm not much for small talk. All right. You too. I'm Mogan's wind shifter. I led you here. Do your bit. We're here. Remember me? No. Who are you? I'm Mazoga. You killed my friend Ravindra. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a lying bastard. You killed Ravindra, and now I'm going to kill you. Frying fellow kitty cats. Holy crap! Okay. Yeah, except one of those bandits was freaking necromancer. I kept my oath. Mogan's windshifter is dead. Mogan's windshifter had a gang. They robbed and killed travelers. But Ravindra saw and told the guards. Mogan's got away. But first he killed Ravindra. My best friend, Ravindra. That day... I became a knight and swore a knight's oath. I searched a long time and asked everyone. Then I finally heard he was hiding at Fisherman's Rock. So now you know everything. You helped me, and I won't forget. Take what you want from the dead. I came to keep my oath, and now I'm done. <laughs> More ghoulish practices! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so I guess I'll just run back and tell the Count that his, uh... Strange Traveler is... Just done away with a pack of thieves, I suppose would be the right term. Became a knight to avenge her friend. Kind of a complicated way to go about it. 
You know, we're a dark brotherhood. You simply could have, you know, yes. filled in your grievance and we would have been down here. Oh, she gets around. Go away. Me or the uh, orc? How goes it? So tiresome. I've... I hope you've been successful. Well, let me put it this way. Have you learned why the orc is here? Yes. Such vengeance is a noble deed. Leowin thanks you for your service, and I have a fitting reward for such noble deeds. I address my offer to you and your friend. Would you like to become Knights Errant? <laughs> Knights Errant? <laughs> what? I have created a chivalric order of the White Stallion. Find and kill the leader of the Black Bow Bandits, the orc named Black Brugo. If you succeed, I will bestow on both you and Mazoga the titles of Knights Errant of the White Stallion for your service to Leowin. Well... Remember, a knight's title shall be your reward. That's pretty bold and nice of you, but, um... Unfortunately, at the current situation, it'd have to wait. Because I still have, uh, two other cities in dire peril. And neither of which I really want to get done today. So, um... I think we're gonna keep this episode short and we'll end it here. So tune in next week while we do the third and probably final part in the Allies for Bruma quest. So I've been Cloak. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.